And that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. Well, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Hello, everybody. We are live. Hello, Justin Bieber and One Eye. Hey, what's up? So, uh, welcome everybody to another Left 4 Dead 2 shoutcast. We have another Fuck It, We'll Do It live matchup here. Round 1 matchup between BG, Professional Gaming, and H2K, Hard to Kill. I'm joined to... We're doing it live. We're doing it live. <laughs> Hope you guys all enjoyed the little... Uh, intro cinematic YouTube video we had. We thought it was kind of funny. Um, I'm joined tonight by One Eye as my co-caster. Go ahead and say hello. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, yeah, we have a really good match tonight. Um, I've been playing with a lot of these guys recently, uh, especially Drew, Dusty, Easy, and Jay. And I played a custom campaign last night, and I've been playing Pugs with the other guys. So I know that they have been practicing. I mean, maybe not necessarily together, but they have, are putting their time in. Um, H2K, um, I see these guys in and out. Um, they always put up, you know, a really good show, put on a really good show. And, um, yeah, hopefully we're still waiting for their fourth, so apparently they have a ringer coming in. Yeah, I would say H2K actually has the upper hand here in terms of um, experience and um, time spent together. Then again, I, BG, I'm looking on their team, I'm seeing a lot of players who have a lot of experience, who are good players, so I think this is, could be a really good game. It might end up being an upset for H2K even, so we'll have to see how this plays out. I'm really excited yeah, for it, though. I'm curious to see who's going to run HR for BG, whether it's going to be Drew or uh, Easy and expect Jay to pick up Shoddy right quick. Um, okay, we, Sideways Box has shown up as their fourth. We do have the last H2K player. Awesome for Sideways. Cool. Yeah, yeah I'm glad to see that Sideways is going to be the, you know, the fourth player because I really like watching him play. I, yeah, I love watching Sideways play. It's always really uh, informational for me. I can get a lot of thanks for watching him play normally. I like his play. Yeah, on Survivor, you know, he's just, uh, you know, his dead stars, keats are just so spot on. So we'll see what happens here. And we do have four out of eight players ready here, so we're just waiting for a few more people to ready up before the game goes live. And uh, looks like they're busy chatting it up at the moment right now, though, so... Having a good time yeah, before that. I know that they've been playing with Raccoon, that he's been playing a lot with Raccoon and Eclipse. And so I, but I just haven't been able to win these games where all these guys have been together, so this is going to be real interesting. It is. I don't. Do EJ and J, Drew, Dusty, are they fairly new together, or have they been playing together a lot? I don't really yeah, know how uh, well. I, I, like, I haven't been really, like, scrimming recently. Uh, well, like, at all. But e either way, uh, I haven't actually seen these guys. I think they've scrimmed a couple times. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, they're definitely a new group of people, but they all look like some people with skill, so this should be a really good match. Indeed. I'm really excited. Can't wait to see the start. Um, yeah, you'd have to put make H2K the, the early favorites just yeah. because of their, their experience together, but they are playing with one ringer, and um, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what I've played with the BG... Oh, that is? Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, is that Bravo? Oh, so they didn't get a ringer, so it's all HUK. Awesome. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, right on. Bravo and his name changes. My goodness. Yep. Everybody does that. I don't, I don't know what's up with it. I, I like when yeah. people play with their their clan tags and their, and you, you know, their regular aliases. Yeah, I kind of like to know who the actual who people would, are, too. Yeah. But. So now it's like, who is that? So you always, like, know who it is, yeah kind of frustrating to not know who people are because they change their name constantly, but uh, whatever works for them. I'm cool with that. Whatever floats their boats, I'm happy with. Them young kids in their tight pants. Looks like we're getting close to going live here. They just set the max slots to 11, and they're pretty much all readied up, so... 
Okay, so what do we have here for our first hit? We have yep. Hummer, Smoker, Hunter, and Spitter. I think the one yeah, to get rid of that. Yeah, I expect that to be like a drop off hit then. Yeah, so I want to get rid of that pretty smoker. fast. And so it looks like everybody has. Or did somebody unready? Somebody unready. Getting overexcited? Sorry. <laughs> See it start. I think this was supposed to start at uh, ten. Well, ten central. Anyway, nine. Even. Yeah, we. They were a little late. They had to look for a ringer. We were a little late trying to get this set up. So everybody's a little late, but hey, we have a game. So. Well, it's not like any match ever starts on time. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the truth? I think everybody who uh, watches the streams uh, recently knows that. I like to apologize for that. It's just you know, there's always something that comes up. Either nah, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to you know, eight people have to like come, or actually more, eleven people have to like be present and properly prepared. So. And here we go. We're finally going live now. So we're gonna see that opening attack here. Team BG. Um, Going up on top there on the awning, pretty standard. We see a lot of teams do that now. Hunter is pre-spawned inside the burger tank there. Looks like they're going to push all the way forward to the front. Kill as many commons as possible. And I like how they're going all the way forward here, away from the burger tank, away from the commons. Good area to take them. Yeah, no doubt they're taking up a lot of spawns here, getting a good pop on the boomer, putting themselves in a nice spot. Uh, that's difficult to attack. And here comes the rest of the attack. Hunter getting skeeted. That smoker has spawned himself inside of the uh, porta potty. Actually, <laughs> <Little> trolls, <laughs> trolls spawn. <laughs> and uh, they're all laughing at themselves. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so one damage uh, from a quick pounce from sideways, and no further damage from that attack. That was pretty funny. The smoker. Yeah, pretty, pretty smoothly getting through that. I mean, it was just a two-two. Was that? Was that like boomer, intentional? Boomer pop was key. Is that intentional for the lols? And we do have another uh, boomer going in. Lands onto one for free. The rest of the attack is just now coming up. Hunter and Jockey have both respawned on the roof and they're coming in now. Hunter's looking for pounce. He lands onto Drew. But the spit goes in on Drew, who is hoarded. He's going to take a lot of damage. He actually gets out pretty quickly, though, with not too much damage. So Yeah, another 2-2. Two -two, a good, uh, you know, just a single boom there, getting the commons going at, going at the survivors. And <laughs> allowed them to get a good hit. And we do have an early pause up here, so... I'm being asked to respect, so I'll go and do that. While we have a quick second before the game's going, um, if you'd like to send us shoutouts for this match, um, you can add us on Steam. Our IDs are um, Justin Dash Bieber for myself, and One Eyes is One Eye. I think all words. So if you'd like to send us a yeah. shoutout, go and add us, and uh, we will read your shoutout. And we're still in pause, I guess, for me to respect wasn't the entire reason, so I'm not sure what else is going on here. Yeah, for some reason I thought they got a better hit than that. Uh, I thought someone was pounced and spit or something, but it looks like uh, looks like they had god frames, because I only see 14 damage so far. And it looks like easy and crash, so it'll be paused for a few minutes to wait till uh, easy and can get back in the game. And there he comes. I have this like awesome spit sizzling in my ears right now. That's not cool uh -huh. at all. <laughs> I, I have like the same camera angle as you. <laughs> and the game is going live now, so we'll see the survivors uh, move forward some more. Yeah, I think they should be able to get past this alarm bar cleanly. Yeah, H2K won't have another Don't attack until um, the choke point at the house is looking like. The smoker is on the car, though. He does have his spawn, so he might... Oh, he's still running forward. Nope, he's gone. Reloading. And I, I agree with that. I think uh, all four should be on this. Just... All of the specials are set up above the survivors, two on each house. It looks like they're going to wait till they mostly commit through the choke and uh... Reloading! 
I, re I like how these survivors, um, when they know that the spawns are up, they right. really take their time. They, they spread out a bit so that here. they can't get multi-charged. And the survivors are coming to the choke now. There's three inside. Hunter gets a nice pounce on back, but is quickly cleared. The smoker misses his pull because it was taken by the hunter. Um, not too much damage there. Only about 10 damage. It's pretty quickly. I'm surprised. I thought yep. it was... H2K is uh, getting yeah. frustrated by this, these survivors. This they're defending very well. Yeah, that was some great... They're keeping the commons off, too. The clears there were great. I mean, they were separated. They still got some amazing clears, so it was awesome. Reloading! Yeah, Smokers. I was wondering who was going to take the hunting rifle, and I thought it was either going to be a Drew or uh, Ezian, and it turns out that it's Jay, so... <laughs> Jay's good with the HR though, too. Yeah, so. no, no doubt. I just, I thought it was going to be one of the other two. And apparently, we going with Jay. And we haven't seen that tank spawn yet. It's looking like it's a late tank here. It's going to be kind of scary if they have to commit to this choke fully before the tank spawns in. That's going to give the infected a good attack on the run back. Reloading! Survivors yeah, well, here they go again. We have a Rochelle ghosting up with that shotgun, and she's like halfway through the choke now. Here comes an attack. Boomer gets stuck on the roof and gets this pop. And we do have a pause going out again from Dusty on BG. So, easy and looks like he has crashed again or something. So, so what did they say BG was? It was, uh, oh yeah, professional, professional gaming. Yeah, professional yep. gaming. I kind of like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good ring to it. Shout out to the bros out there. If you're just uh, joining us, just to do a quick recap, this is a uh, Fuck It, We'll Do It Live round one matchup. The whole tournament is being played this weekend. It's done by Sunday, I believe. Um, this is round one. Round two is taking place tomorrow. Um, this game is between BG, Professional Gaming, and H2K, Hard to Kill. And we, um, Hard to Kill does have their tank up. It has spawned in the hands of Raccoon, and I think we'll take it away to their war room when we get back live here. And here we go, so let's uh, take it away to H2K Warrior. Alright, I probably should have. Oh, he did. Smack <laughs> though. Long distance kill, yeah. Where's the thing? The Charis, Ellis, he's trying to pick you, but he's running back now. Oh, he's so far back there. there. Good shot. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, I don't know how smart that. You just skip that. Oh, no. Yeah, you're trying to get a boom. Should we go in on this or wait for try cap? Because we got enough right, time. We still have it. We got enough time to wait for a spawn. Reloading. Reloading. That almost done. All right, Saint, go in right now. Don't go in. Don't go in. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. What? Right. Yeah, fifty percent range. Let me get on top of us. All right. All right. I'll tell you when to get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can go. Wait a second. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, oh shit! Wow. Reloading. Hit you that guy! Welcome back everybody, and that was H2K's tank. It did a pretty good amount of damage with it. They managed one full end cap onto Coach, and he tried to get that car in there for the kill, but he just was too low on health and couldn't get that. Yeah, he, he cornered Coach very quickly, and as soon as they got the end cap on Coach, they had a really nice situation where they had three cappers in the tank charging at the survivors. Um, I mean, unluckily, the tank... Uh, Killed the jockey with one punch, and uh, but still, really, really good attack. Mm. And the tank was very low by the time the SI came in, so it didn't leave him much opportunity to uh, get any further damage. Well, but we I do. still think that they maximize their chance of getting a wipe there by having yeah. three, you know, three SI and three caps. And we, in the tank. we do have an attack coming in with his natural horror. The smoker lands on back for quite a bit of damage onto Drew, and he's still not cleared. Finally, getting cleared. Everything else was. Uh, 
effectively shut down. There's a spitter back there scratching something with a spray beneath her. Three small wow. Reloading. And small green are in really yeah. good shape here. They probably will make it into the safe room with those solid green bars because this last hit is usually pretty weak. Reloading. And they still have 488 bonus. That's there. huge for round one. That's huge. Reloading. Yep, it's over half of the round bonus. So, Take on, by prodigy on standard, that's that's a big bonus. And it looks like the Chargers setting up, trying to get a spawn beneath the survivors behind the truck, but they are blocking that spawn. Survivors, other two are quickly pushing up to the uh, safe room to block that spawn there. So Yeah, Dusty's in with his help on it. Probably we'll see Coach Reloading. going last after Rochelle gets up the stairs. Yeah. Good and idea. The attack will come in. Coach getting smoked in the door. Here comes the charge to punch it. Landing onto Coach in the doorway. And that spit's going to go in onto the doorway for a lot of damage. He's going to be in half. Still, he wasn't bonus. Yeah. They handled that really well. Great. Yeah, great job to Team BG for uh, using their bonus as bait. Uh, I mean, sorry, their non bonus as bait. I mean, the attack only lost them like 20 points of bonus just because, I mean, uh, 10 yeah, they, isn't worth they like ghosted in, so they almost it snuck in the whole team and the entire bonus by the time the SI realized that they needed to go in. Great first but, round for Team BG. They make it with 468 points of bonus to start out with 868 points. It's a great start for them. Uh, H2K is going to have to do um, pretty well here. And H2K can do it. I mean, they're all really good players, so I, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less of them. No doubt. I expect to see some high level survivor play here and some really good shutdowns. Even though they. We could the SI players Come on. are really quite good too. But let, I mean, it just seems like this first two-two hit, and if they fall, are followed up by another two-two at the trailer, and which is what happened to the first set. Yeah, I'd like to see him BG attack a little earlier. I think H2K might have waited too long before attacking for the first attack, and BG is coming in early. Looks like the spitter gets killed below. Hunter's coming up, and he misses the console, falls inside. Smoker lands, but gets killed quickly. The Hunter gets killed, and that Boomer is down below, and he gets popped. Yeah, okay, so it looks like they want Spooker guys first, and then Boomer guys last. They may not end up with, the, uh, with that 2-2 again. And Ezean, I uh, thought he had the wrong spawn. I thought he was attacking. I've actually done that before a lot. I'll have, like, a spitter or something. I'm like, dang it, I yeah, thought it was a job. Yeah, the spitter arms <laughs> A lot. I do that all the time, so don't feel alone easy. I do it all the time. It's kind of funny. And uh, Team VG is setting up on the roof of the uh, alleyway there for another attack. They have a spitter, smoker, hunter, and a jock. The big difference so far between the games is that but at this point, BG had, had already taken two full attacks, and here, so H2K has only taken landmark. one by really getting through that beginning part a lot faster. Hey, I'm reloading. I like uh, H2K blocking that left side zone, and the attack is coming in. Smoker lands momentarily gets burned quickly. Hunter's jumping in, can't get anything, gets killed. Smoker lands again for a second, gets killed. And Jockey's still jumping around looking for something, but he gets dead stopped and killed as well, so. Four yeah, damage. Pretty here. much a Good shutdown again. I mean, yeah. survivors. Never mind. Heck, H didn't think I'd be saying this, but HK is actually in better shape right now than uh, BG was at this point, and BG only took like about yeah. you know 30 damage here. Reloading. There's like so. almost no damage on the board at all. Uh, HK still has 788 health bonus. That's only 12 points less than the maximum for the stage, so there's no damage on the board really. And we do have that tank spawned up, it has spawned into the hands of Drew. Let's go ahead and take this attack on the run back, and uh, we'll take it away to a um, BG Warm after that. That spitter spawns in, just sacking that. It looks like they're saving the rest of the spawns for the tank. So let's take it away to BG's war room. Reloading. I'm going to take it. Just go the right side. The right side. Can you get that boom? Yeah, you pass. Doesn't do anything at 
Ten on, don't take shot. Why would you drop? Why you dropping on me? Oh my god. Wow. Hey, I'm reloading. Saw that roof. I swear to God. Keep shooting. Go on top of him. Let's help him. Let's run up on Welcome back everybody, that was EG's tank. Pretty effectively shut down by H2K there. It was really unfortunate, the tank when he was coming in, he missed the jump over the fence and he just fell on the wrong side and had to go all the way around and ate so much shit. He was at 4,000 health before he ever got in there, so... Yeah, unfortunately there's no ladder to get back on that roof. Once you fall into the backyard of that house, you basically have exposed yourself to the survivors sale. because they can shoot you through the fence. So he had to commit the tank and w with the boomer. Still, good good double cap and a good boom there. He, he got decent support. He just, since he was taking chip early... We do have they an have attack move. Smoker gets picked off easily. Jockey lands on her shelf a little bit, but it's clear quickly. Charger missing everything, and the Spitter misses as well. So, H2K still sitting at 608 points of bonus, which, I mean, that's a lot. That's even more than uh, BG had. And, I mean, they're pretty much a clear run to the safe room right here. I'm a reload. Yep. Uh, BG is going to have one last hit here, but don't expect too much. This is really. Reload. Th tough place to get big damage. Coon blocking the door spawn. The smoker spawns up. Jockey spawning in. All the survivors make it into the safe room before any of the uh, specials can land. And they... Wow, 640 points. That's over a thousand points of score on the first round alone. That's crazy. Yeah, we're witnessing some extremely high level survivor play. Wow, you usually don't see somebody have over a thousand points after round one, especially when the other team got a huge score. I was score impressed as well, so. with the first, yeah, the first team's bonus, and now I'm wow. We have like two huge scores on the board right now, so this is shaping up to be a really survivor-oriented game. It looks like uh, it's going to be all about those shutdowns. I think. Yeah, one maybe one death could could decide this game either way. So if anybody's just joining us, we'll do a quick little recap here for you. This is a fuck it, we'll do it live uh, round one matchup of tournament, the tournament weekend. Uh, this matchup is between BG and H2K. We are starting the first half of round two now. Uh, both teams made it to the safe room with great bonuses. H2K getting the better of the bonuses, having a score of 1,040 to BG's 868. Okay, so for our first hit, we have Hunter, Boomer, Charger, Smoker. Um, I, it looks like this Hunter wants to get up on top of these silos. So we'll see if uh, he gets up there and we witness one of those uh, good outside hits with a big DP. Looks like they're setting up for a uh, attack in the first building there. Charger's getting on the roof there, Boom's getting on the roof there, Smoker's in there, yep. and Hunter's setting up for the DP. Hunter's doing his, uh, his jumps to get up on top, Reloading. and he's almost there. Oh, Ooh, and he falls all the way down. Survivors are almost out, so... Survivors Reloading. are aware of what he's doing now, though, so it looks like he's going to change his plans and not do that, since um, the survivors have been tipped off to that. Are he's going to get up there again? Yeah. There this he time he does Reloading. get up. And he has a good angle on the survivors, but they are going to be looking right up at him. Ellis eating a little Reload. common ship there. Smoker, Smoker spawns in the first. Smoker lands momentarily. Charger lands for a nice separation wow. charge. Boomer gets two, and then Charger charges the hunter's target, but still yeah. good damage. Over 20 damage on the first attack, not too bad. Um, but yeah, the Charger stealing the hunter's target there. I mean, Hunter almost got that good DP. I expected to be going first on the attack, actually. They, they pull forward with the smokers. Reloading! Adrenaline shot here. 
Survivors are quickly pushing forward. They're making their way through the field now. Infected will probably want to get another attack here. Um, drop those spawns in above is usually what we see a lot of here. Usually here they come in from on top Hunter here. coming in for a DP and gets skeeted. Boomer looks for a boom and lands into one. Spitter kind of hits the tree and he doesn't get anything. And the smoker gets picked without anything. Either. So no additional Yeah, good effect. shot down here. Just a 2-2. Still a little bit, I don't know, maybe a little bit uncoordinated. They they let them get out into the corner. I think if they had gone earlier when they were had spawns above them and um, could drop a boomer in. Yeah, I think attack. it was maybe that attack just came in a second. And these guys move so fast. They do. It seems like they're like Ayu. Yeah, H2K is covering tons of distance between attacks. And nice little bait there by Nick. He didn't actually get anybody to spawn, but I like how he drops in there and went back around on the pipes to try to bait him. And here comes the rest of his team. Jockey misses. Jockey finally lands. Smoker lands in the back. Charger lands for a little bit of a tri cap. Nice two cap in the back as well. And uh, pretty good yeah, damage. The way that the Charger got slumped back by that boomer, I didn't think they were going to get anything. But it's still managing to get a triple cap there for a couple seconds. And it's good damage in. That's so so often why I like to go with the boomer first or go with the boomer last because he always just seems to get in the way, you know. And we do have a tank and it just spawned in the ground, so that tank's gonna be dead and not of any use. And we have and the vote like here we're to gonna restart. restart. That's really unfortunate. So. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But. H2K had done <laughs> the tank he just all the way down. down the hole or something. H2K was doing really well there. They had great health for that tank. So I mean that kind of sucks for them because now uh, BG has another opportunity to play that stage over again, and they might get more damage this time. So kind of sucks for H2K. Maybe a good well, opportunity it is for what BG. It is, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, since they had gotten through that much of the map without taking that much damage, it's definitely an advantage for BG. Yeah, but uh, it is what it is, and yes. can't change it. I, it. Yeah, I mean, I don't I think the result will be that different. <laughs> it's, I'd rather them play it out yeah. and each have a tank and do it properly. Exactly. I mean, I'm not playing, but I would rather see them play a proper match, have their tanks not have to sack it, so... But that's just me, I'm not playing, so I don't know how they felt about it, but obviously everybody wanted to restart, it was passing it endlessly, so. And our first attack for this round is a Charger Hunter Jockey and a Boomer, so I believe that's the same as it was last time. It's like deja vu, we're doing this all over again. <laughs> Hunter has pre-spawned on the reef above the survivors. Jockey is on the other side across the uh, courtyard there on the Duke Tell Sugar building. We're not going any further on this road. We can head Charger's looking there. for a sneaky spawn up there on the uh, wall there. Reload. Reload. Kinda like these spawn points by the survivor or by the uh, in fact you don't see too much but the boomer drops the boom and above, lands on the one. Here comes the rest of the attack. Hunter coming in, getting the landing. Charger lands a nice little chart. A little bit of damage from the Hunter, about 20 damage there. It was pretty much the same as the uh, first attack for the last round, actually. Reloading. Yeah, pretty close damage. Um, I, but, however, I like the way they did it this time so much better. They reboomed it, had a much better chance to get a try cap, and, you know, if just, like, the Charger had been, like, one foot to the left or the right, I think he would have got like a double or triple charge there for and to maximize the damage. BG yeah. does have their spawns up. I like to see them attacking right here, but H2K is already through. They're just moving so fast that they can. The smoker lands on one in front, but it's quite quickly. Charger lands a nice double charge there. And getting that double charge, that was Drew getting a really, really nice charge there. And we have an earlier tank this time that has spawned up in the hands of Dusty. Let's take this away to BG's war room. I see that, I see that. Reloading. You guys wanna send spawns in right away and go for a rock? Let's not go for a rock, let's just get a tri cap. Alright. I'll pounce around from that boom if you wanna go now. We have tri cap. Oh we do. 
Hold on. Okay, wait, tell me when to go in and like get ready. It's up to you. There's spawns above them. You know what I'm talking about right there? Yeah. Reloading! Just flush him. Alright, I'm gonna go in. If he's getting raped and they're flushing flushing him one way, we need to go. Reloading. Just pouncing around. Reloading. Where'd I go? Reloading. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Down him. Oh, no. Good. And we're back. Uh, Bieber took a short break, but we just saw the end of that tank. Uh, Drew getting in there, getting uh, two of the players bleeding. He did a good job uh, isolating Rochelle there. Hitting her into a corner so that his teammates can get in there, but uh, not not much of the SI landed for him. But still, it's like spread the, oh spread the damage a bit. We do have a witch up there, HUK just drawing the witch. Smoker lands in the spit for some nice damage. Hunter lands an ATP onto Rochelle, and she's not getting even played. A lot of damage on her. Here comes that witch. Wow, wow, wow. And she just oh. gets her now. Yeah, wow. That was not handled very well. Wow. I don't think they were expecting that. <laughs> Where was that witch? Was she like... Was she, she like seated at the top of the map or something? I, I didn't get a look at it. I think uh, Rev is saying the witch kind of took like a sidestep there at the end. Uh, Bravo had the shotgun there, but he, he missed the draw crown. She kind of sidestepped at the end. And we have another witch? What is this? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a little bit awkward, but yeah. I mean, this is... Uh... And here comes the attack. Boomer lands onto one for free. Hunter's pre-spawned above, not going in yet. It looks like they're going to save those other spawns for the witch. The second witch, this feels so weird we just had a witch. Well, it is the sugar mill. I mean, it's not unheard of that uh, that there be multiple witches here, but it's. I just think it's pretty rare. I'm trying to decide if we're getting trolled by Gaben or Prodigy. Okay, and an nice crown there by uh, Bravo there. He's yeah, he rushed it, he just ran right up to her and shot her right in the back. That was a really nice crown. Reloading. Yeah, he's one for two with the witch crown, so... Reloading. Well, the draw crown is, in yeah. my opinion, uh, more difficult. Yeah, it's by at least a factor of two or three. Especially if she like sidesteps or takes a weird path or runs diagonally or something. It's just so weird sometimes with the way she runs. I mean, it's not predictable all the time. Nice smoker hang there. Humor booms from above and lands on the one. Charger going for a charge off, but he's uh, just going for punches instead now. Hunter getting bed stopped and killed, and Charger getting killed as well. We do have the hang up on top on to Nick though, so we want to get up there and pick him up quickly before they have more spawns. I mean, considering what I was looking at a second ago, I think they. Like, got away scot-free, almost. Yeah, Nick, Nick was cornered by the hunter and the charger, and they Grab just the got off. nothing. I hit it. Survivors have started the event with their health bonus currently sitting at 360. It's true, or um, BG has their attack up. They have a smoker, spitter, hunter, and a boomer. It looks like it's getting ready to come in right here. Hunter's pre-spawn behind the wall there. Smoker is down below looking for a pull-off, I guess. I don't know. Side Boomer getting caught. Clips. Hunter getting skidded out of the air, and that smoker is like trying to come up without getting killed, and there he gets killed finally. Yeah, those are the type of skeets you're used to seeing when sideways picks up that shoddy. I don't like that spot for the smoker. I would have rather like gone on the other side, tried for an angle or something. I don't know why he was yeah, like on the wall. A little wall bit down disorganized there. attack, but yeah, they really have to do something about coaching Alex's bonus. And Spit going in for a delay. Boomer's gonna come in. He gets popped. Jockey's like going they're gonna in. Get much here. And he gets skeeted down. Hunter's coming in all alone. And he just jumps away for a despawn. <laughs> Despawning and taking half chip, man. A hundred chip. Oops. So as they really need to boomer here for this uh, for this cane field. If they yeah. can, you know, organize a decent attack, they're like going in one at a time here. I think they're a little bit flustered. Charger just. This click down there and spawned, I think. He's running away for a despawn, and he finally does. H2K still sitting at 332 bonus. That's pretty high for this stage, so...
Oh, that's unlucky. They got the spitter. I don't know. If they can get a charge spit here, then... And here comes yeah. H2K rushing through the field. They threw their pipe out. Hunters pre-spawned over to the right side of the field. Chargers looking to spawn over there as well. So is the smoker. They're all spawning on top of each other. And here they come in. Leading in with the hunter. He's pouncing around. Can't get anything. Hunter gets dead soft and killed. Hunter gets a, a nice charge. double charge with the follow of smoke for a two cap there. That and the spit goes in on the charge. Almost an in cap on the code. A lot of damage. And he's down. Oh, he's down in a wow. bad spot. They're going to have to do this whole thing again here. Yeah, and their health bonus they just got decimated right there. They lost 200 points of health bonus right there. 150. Yep. They, like, lined up so nicely for Jay, and he took full advantage. Yeah. And the smoker intercept the pickup with the smoke. That was great. That happened, like, right after the charge, so it didn't include the smoker ton. Well, it's good to see that these guys aren't really, you know, flustered, but they're still getting their hits in there. Here comes the second field attack. Jockey's jumping in from behind. Hunter's jumping in from behind. Jockey gets dead stopped and killed. Hunter gets dead stopped and killed as well. Charger and Spitter are saving for a room attack, it looks like, just before save them. Yeah, they focused the Ellis there, they were the last remaining health bonus. They really just went in there for scratches and got like two, three scratches. And here comes the last attack. Spitter goes in onto the doorway and Charger spawning in with Nick all alone. Goes for Charger's going to take a him. swipe at uh, yeah. Ellis there, but he couldn't get it. Nice and clear. And they made it. H2K makes it into the safe room with 168 points of bonus. That's pretty good for this stage. I mean, usually the stage is a wipe with the field attack. I agree. and so. I mean, they had to take care of two witches instead of one, yeah. and the tank, which shows up in, you know, a little bit of an awkward place for the survivors to... I mean, they have a corner to fight him in, but... It's not like the good corner where the, the, uh, the two shacks are. It's a weird one. How far down was uh, BG coming into this round? 200, I think. So they're going to need about 350 bonus to tie the game. So that's yeah, I mean, maybe that's a little really bit hard. hard I think it was like 868 to 1040 or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. A little less than 200 points. Hunter is setting up on top of the silo again, looking like he's going to do a similar thing. And Boomer getting. Yeah, he can't bombs. get up over that ledge. Wow. BG should be moving out right now. They just popped a boomer, so um, H2K is down one spawn. Hunter finally gets spot up there. Here come the survivors pushing out, slowly baiting those commons out. Jockey is still waiting. Hunter's coming in for Here his he DP. And he actually Boom. lands a 25 onto Rochelle. And the spin goes in. That would have been like a and 50 point bounce. On to Nick as well for another 20 damage on the end. If there wasn't a cap on, on a pounce, that was like a 50-pointer. He just sailed in there like a so, parachutist without a parachute, just swan dive. Surprisingly high damage on that first attack. They got 70 points of damage on one attack. Reloading. And H2K spawns are just coming up now. They do have a boomer up, and he is quickly moving through this field here. I'd like to see them try to drop that boomer above them if possible, but it looks like they're saving at this point. And they do have that tank that spawned in. It spawned into the hands of the coon. He's pushing straight in. Let's take it to their war room. It's just... Oh my god, he landed in it. Wait, what? How are you doing? Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting it. No, why is you drop? Why is you drop the ladder? Why is you drop the ladder? Reloading. Welcome back, everyone, and that was H2K's kink. Um, they had three full end caps there. Nick is the only one left. He's gonna take a lot of spit damage to get a pick up there. Probably a good choice because if they got a cap. He probably would have died now. If he let go, he's not going to up. Yeah. And he clutched it so big time, being the last one up with the tank there. I have a boomer spawning in above. He gets a free boom onto one. Ellis is down. 
the other specials have not spawned in yet. And here they come, Charger dropping in from above, lands a charge under Rochelle, Jockey stuck in can't get anybody. He finally gets down and gets us up. Oh, Nick is just swimming uh, in the spit and runs through and he goes didn't see the spit wow. spreading behind him, oh boy. Yeah, he just yeah, backed right into the spit trying to get out of it and he swam right through and got himself. We're in a pretty bad situation for BG over here. I mean, they have two yeah, survivors BG's up. BG's bonus is just Reloading. devastating. Everybody doesn't look like right. If they actually make it past these witches, I'll be really impressed. And a huge DP onto Jay there, and tapping him as well. We have Jay black and white. I think he's the only one black and white at this point. Yeah. No pills. Jay's black and white. He's slow. No pills. All survivors on. Two players. On. Yeah. yeah. Bad oh news for BG here. If they make it out of the warehouse, I'll be impressed. And Charger's jumping in from above. Lands a charge under Jay and back. One pummel and he's gonna be dead, and he kills Jay. Jockey lands on the him back. Charger goes for a recharge onto uh, Rochelle, but just narrowly misses. And the remaining three will push forward for as much distance as they can get. Charger should have just probably killed that. He only has 17 health left, and that's what he's... I'm just gonna save it, looks like. Reload! And see if he was in an opportunity where he could kill the charge, but had he had the chance, he probably should have just killed him with only 38 HP left. Oh, boy. And Nick goes down to comments up top, so you don't have to go all the way around. And they're just going for distance, looks like at this point. Smoker lands on top. Rumor proxies, if he gets charged, that is the white right there. VG makes it with 253 points of bonus, increasing their score to 1121 to HGK's 1708. What an attack with that tank. He just nosed right in there and cornered one quickly and got really yeah. excellent support. Yeah. And, I mean, that tank was... That, that, like I said, that corner is kind of awkward to fight the tank. It was a I mean, really he's going to get in there and get close. Yeah. It was a really aggressive tank, but great push in there. I mean, he just pushed in while the survivors were not quite set up, not ready yet. He got some quick end caps, and the support landed well, so it ended up being a wipe later in the stage. Yeah, he didn't miss punches. That was the key. He got Ellis quickly, uh, and then his support was really good, getting a charge and charge and spit and hunt everything. Everything landed. And the jockey, too. So we're going into the third or first half of map three, and BG is down six, now 600 points here. So what are you feeling like BG has to do here? What, are the, what is it going to take for them to come back? Well, we, I mean... Let's see. I mean, they're down. They 600. have to pull off the basically. They have to pull off this cane field attack, and you know, they basically need to get an in cap in, in the cane field here. Um, so that means basically getting a boomer and a triple cap. I mean, their last cane field hit was really good, so we'll see if they can get it again. And we did just see the spitter sack there. It looks like the rest of BG will save for the field attack, so it's probably a good choice there. A lot of damage Reloading. can be had with that field attack. Reloading. And I mean, this is this Reloading. is one of those stages where, I mean, it's just so hard to make up points. You're all slow. Tank is usually pretty easy with, to get a wipe here. I mean, it's just a hard map to, to make up points. So it's really looking like BG's going to have to bank on map four at this point. I mean, Reloading. down 700 uh, points. Hold on. Jay's going to get a boomer here, and he, he w is on the boomers, so, or was. And here comes the field attack. Charger Reloading. and Hunter spawn on the one side. Jockey has spawned on the survivor. right now. And here comes the boomer with his waddle. H2K is just kind of... They're hurting. Yeah. They're Jockey hurt. gets cleared. Charger lands onto one. Hunter's coming in for an intercept. And boomer lands on one. Hunter lands a pounce on back, but pretty effectively shut down by H2K. Not much damage there, really. Yeah, they needed they needed to wait for the boomer. Yeah. Let's get his and boom that, first. That hunter really needed to go for the Because see, now that, he get, now the two of them are locked up with commons in the field... And two of them are mine to go for the other two with the I three cappers. The, I think the boomer was just Combo. so far away though that that wasn't really likely and he was so far away well, he needed a distraction to get in. Well what I mean is they keep hurting them towards the boomer and the boomer gets his boom off and then... There goes a spit sack so they'll have a boomer on top of the elevator. The okay another key situation charger. here. Yeah. This is a, they this really is need a key a, point. They really need a death charge right here and they do have yep. the charger. Um, death death to get a boomer. Looks like they'll probably go for a hunter or jockey stumble. HK pushing out immediately. Get it. Get the stumble. Getting the death charge. Hunter's on in the elevator. A lot of damage on the elevator as well, and the death charge. Sideways box like a deer cotton headlights. Yeah. The 
the jockey stumble, I mean, nobody could move, and he, he just stumbled, he couldn't do anything. Yep. No doubt. Great, but. great charge to easy, and that's exactly what they needed. I mean, still, this map is hard to make up points, even with the dead charge, so. They pushed out of the elevator so hard, and, and the timing of the SI was very good. H2K is very hoarded right now. They only have three survivors left, um, so they're going to have to be very careful for the rest of this map. Very conscious about what they do, where they're at, where their teammates are. Possibly really big damage here. Triple cap with the spitters. Hunter so, uh, pre-spawned on top on the pipes there. He got really damaged. He's at 48 HP right now, so he's going to be pretty much useless. Yeah. Charger and spitter both on top. Smoker is ahead. And they're letting the survivors take the choke action without attacking. And here comes the attack now finally. Smoker lands on front. Charger going, or smoke, Hunter going for the intercept. He misses. Charger misses as well. They, uh, they waited too long there. They let them take the whole choke point before they went in. Mm. Yeah, maybe a little bit late there. It was unfortunate that Hunter a, got damaged so bad. Reloading. It was a good smoke in front, but the Hunter yeah, could intercept. Yeah, and the Hunter was going for that intercept. If he got it, they they he would they would have pinned two of them for for some time. And we do have our tank that responded. It's bonded in the hands of Ezian. He's pushing that straight in. Let's take this away to a uh, BG war room. Reloading. Bio. I'm gonna let that one yeah, off. Let's go in. Here. There's one yeah, person on that light over there. I'll pull the guy in the front. If one pushes out, I'll pull the guy. I'm going in. This. Why oh, you take the long way? I got him. Go to the next guy. I got this. I got the front guy. All right, all right. How the fuck did he get up there? I don't know. I can't hit him there. I'll pull the guy in the front. I got him. Down on that guy. The fuck is he? What? He's not down? Really? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, and that was BG's tank managing to get the wipe. Um, I don't know if people saw it, but I think Raccoon actually did take a legal spot there for just a second, but it didn't, I mean, impede the game at all. It was a wipe anyway, so I don't think, anyway, it's so change I don't think score. it I don't think it matters at all since they did wipe anyway, so it didn't so change what, the score. So what spot on top of the, uh, that little lamp there? I think on top of, on top of the water tower thing, there's a little light post right below it. He was standing on top of the light post, and commons or specials can't get there, so that's what makes it an oh, illegal spot. the tank spot. managed to get there. He, like, well, because he, he has a ladder, but commons can't get there, I don't think. Oh, I see. Well, it didn't change the outcome of the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. So. It didn't change the game. They wiped, and there, I don't think it made a difference at all, so not an issue really, but just kind of something to point out. Yeah, nice tank. Well handled by using in there. Good support, too. I mean, survivors just scattered, so it wasn't. I guess it wasn't that, that difficult. So we're going into the second half of round three. BG is down 900 points, so... We're seeing actually a full attack at the safe room. Hunter lands for a lot of damage, Charger lands in the spit as well. A lot of spit damage going in, about 50 damage from the first attack there. Yeah, let's see if the survivors can capitalize on that and the attack and just run right into the elevator, yeah. which is... Exactly, and they're quickly moving through the field. It looks like they'll be able to avoid a field attack, so... Hey, we can take this elevator back up. Yeah, I'd, see, I'm not sure I like that. I think I like, uh, I like getting that cane field attack in a lot better. Just because it has the potential to make so much more... You can, I, I've seen wipes in the cane field. I mean, I hardly have ever seen a wipe right out of the safe door. 
Boomer is going to go in. He gets a free boom on the floor. They have a lot of commons there. They might be able to get a stumble here. Pull out for that charge. Even death charge. Jockey going in for the stumble. Smoke going in right after. But the tongue actually gets uh, meleeed off. So very clear. Tongue gets meleeed again. Still trying to get smoke out. And it does land now. But it gets cleared. Charger is still waiting to try to get a charge off for the death. Smoker is going to get cleared. He's almost dead. Charger is getting yeah, I think the they're going to do the right thing here and wait for all the common to clear and then... Raccoon does have a spawn up now though. Hey! And they go for Hunter Stumble and land. Charger gets... Wow. Yeah. That was good. They, I mean, they were really patient with that. They baited out those hits. They cleared that Smoker Tongue I don't know how many times. Mm -hmm. um, and avoided the Death Charge. I mean, just cornering up in that elevator seems to be like... Maybe the best way to do it. I mean, the SI are going to have their chances too. You know? They're going to have their stumbles and smokes, but Reloading. I, I think H is going to rush to the coming out of there. Reloading. Yeah. Team HUK spawn next spawn cycle is up. They have a jockey, smoker, charger, and a boomer, and it looks like they're going to save that for the uh, choke point over here at the entrance. This next area. Reloading. Boomer's gonna yeah, spawn in first. Lands a free boom on the one. Jockey spawning in in front. Smoker is spawning up on the water tower there. The Charger spawning up on the river to the side. Smoker lands. Jockey lands. And the Charger misses. You have a nice two cap going on though. The Charger getting a lot of fists on today. Charger getting. He had a really great spawn there, and he dropped down and charged a spear. I mean, he still got good damage as much as Wow. He just, This is uh, looking like you know, BG's chance to make a, a big move here. They, if they take this tank, still, yeah. this is a very complicated tank. There's water everywhere. Someone is definitely going to get punched. So Exactly. And they are still sitting at 868 points of bonus right now, but as you said, it's a very difficult tank. Somebody's going to get in cap. Somebody's going to get... I mean, it's just almost inevitable. We do have the spitter sack going in. H2K's coming in for a full attack. Hunter lands momentarily, gets quick, quickly. Smoker missing his pull, and he's getting focused down. Smoker is killed. And there is a little up. dry. There's a little dry patch right there, uh, uh, near where that death spit is, that you can move around a little bit on. But as soon as this tank decides to push in, he's going to push him back to that tree there, and he's going to corner one in the back. The tank he's just is waiting for his spawn to being run. played by Bravo right now. It's just now passing to Raccoon. Let's take this away to H2K's war room. Should I get bone? If you can get that bone. Uh -huh. Dude, then he's out. Storm coming! Come on. Nice. That's helpful. Yeah, I need to go. Check it. Come on. Nice. What? <laughs> no! Hey, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna take him out. Get away from me. How are you guys in a match? <laughs> what? What is that? AI. I was AI. Did you really I gotta... I thought he got a rock. Reloading! Welcome back everyone, and that was H2K's tank. Not quite a wipe that they were hoping for, but they did get some big damage in. BG is still sitting at 276 points of bonus though, so if they make it with that bonus maintained, I mean, they'll be right back in this game. Yeah, as predicted, Tank went in there, cornered one, went straight back. I, I really like the way he focused just one survivor and made sure to get that one in cap, which he did on Ellis very effectively. Uh, and then, well, he did what he could after that. Team VG is taking this area on top. It can be good or bad, so Hunter's coming in, leading with that Hunter. He gets a nice pounce on back. Charger misses everything, and the Smoker lands on back for a couple ticks on the Ellis. 
Charger is oh stuck. Oh my god, the charger hit there. That was, if he got a double charge and sent Rochelle flying. Funny. For the Team PG, they're still sitting at 256 bonus, and all of it's been maintained on coach, so they really need to protect the health bonus right now. H2K does have one last attack in the safe room door. They're going to want to target Coach as much, much as possible Chargers, with it. Though. He's in the safe room. Wow, they're going for a safe room attack. Wow. And here they come. Yeah. They got an end cap on Rochelle in the back. Nick got stuck in the spit a little bit. That was Coach Holmes. Momentarily. Yeah. Coach cares. I think I know what they were like doing. Like a box. They were thinking, H2K was thinking that they were um, going to put Coach into the safe room first as he had the health bonus, so they would just charge spin Coach and take out the health bonus, but they didn't put Coach in the safe room first, so that didn't work really. Well, I think I mean, it worked, it's, but I mean, yeah, it didn't no, work. That was a really <laughs> good strategy, in my opinion, because they could get the SI coming in from two different directions instead of trying to chase them into the safe room, which is usually and what I mean, you see. Usually in that circumstance, you will have the health bonus going into the safe room first. And I think that's probably True what was that. expected. So, but... I don't know if that was just coincidence, the, the health bonus didn't go in the safe room first, or if, like, they were thinking they might try to do something like that. I don't know. Well, it's, it's you know, it's pretty tricky to spawn up your SI and then, it, you know, in front of the survivors yeah. and then run into the safe room without getting shot. You can't... Yeah, and you can't really be too secretive about it because they're going to hear you, so... <laughs> Right, so that's probably why they didn't send Coach in first. So we're starting the first half of map four. Uh, BG is still down, but the difference is only about 200 and, um, yeah, about 300 points now. So a lot closer of a game. Or, wow, it's 200 points. Uh, I can't two, count. 210 points. Yeah, so, um, f I mean, that is not... It, for the volatility of this map that's coming up, that is not a big difference. I mean... If you know these, this tank is just crucial. Uh, this yeah. this map is basically crucial for the the whole campaign. And I mean, on, on map four, and, 200 points is nothing. Anything yeah, that happens in so. general, you know, this is the map that decides the game. I mean, it, we're not playing finale, but even if we were, this would probably be the map that would do it. So as VG is 200 points down uh, from H2K, they're basically going to have to get 200 points at least more than whatever H2K gets to win the game. And it looks like VG is going to go for an insta-hit here at the save room door. Yeah, they have Charger, Jockey, Smoker, and Spitter. Charger pre-spawning here. And here comes H2K. Smoker lands a nice little smoke onto uh, Nick in the garage there. Jockey gets a really good intercept on that as well. Quite a bit of damage there from the intercept and the, I think the charge got a couple punches but over 50 yeah, damage. Yeah, really good two cap. Jockey covering really nicely there. That's just what uh, BG needed. A great first hit. Hopefully they're feeling good after that. Hopefully they can keep up that momentum. If they keep attacking like that I think they can wipe H2K here. Yeah, I, I mean I touched on it earlier um, about you know teams that are experienced and how they don't get flustered as easily when they're up against another tough team. We do so, have another attack coming in. Charger spawns up ahead. Smoker is ahead as well. Jockey's scratching the door down. He's ahead. And H2K is just backing out of the choke point, just baiting all the spawns out. Jockey gets a couple scratches and lands on the coach. The smoker gets picked off, and the Charger is all alone up there. Yeah, Charger's in a really awkward spot because he can't respawn. So he has to basically just... <laughs> and we do have the tank up. It's being played by Jay. Let's take this to an, a, a survivor war room this time. Oh, that's an AI charger, I guess. Oh, no, I, I, I don't even see anything. Like, I, I think these cars are coming out of it. How did I get boom? Yeah. He's got to He's got to car in front of him, so head out. It's it's <laughs> Come on! I can't see it, it just comes out of the start. There's a jockey in front. I'm driving. Oh, the jockey. Oh, and the cars. Nice. I might die. This car's down there, watch out. There's a charger down there. Can you kill me? Can you kill me? No, tanks got cars down there. Reload! What? Does he have all the cars back there? Can we go in front? Yo, yo, yo! Let's drop in front. At this tank. Oh, 
Oh, this why is there a Die, Kai. Mark, Mark, Kai. I'm going up the sideways. How does he get through that? I don't know. He's going for his first one. What? He just fucking get out of nowhere. Cause he's not dead. Wow, Raccoon! The hunter, the hunter, Raccoon, the hunter! He's so low. I got him. Oh my god. He's gonna die, don't let him die. Good time. Oh, uh, I'm getting there's a tank comments. punching me. And there's a car. He's dead. Taken care of. Welcome back everyone, and that was Team BG's tank. It was played by Drew, and he did an awesome job with it. It wasn't a wipe, but he got a ton of damage. There's health bonuses only sitting at 400 right now, so... I mean, it's a lot of damage for the stage. Especially when that tank can I mean, get nothing a lot of the time. Yeah, and that was that that first car that he just pitched up there and landed on uh, Nick, I believe. Uh, wow! After that, he just kept launching those cars up there. Good SI support. Two team, falling caps. Team BG so. just completely uh, missed that choke point attack because HUK rushed it so fast. So I mean, they just missed the best choke point in this map. We do have the attack thing. Charger misses his charge in front. Spitter goes in and fits randomly for the delay. Boomer goes in for a boom and proxies on the one. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna have uh, one last hit. Yeah, and I mean they can push this choke as well. I think because she attacked so late. I think they can get through this choke with any further attack. I mean they're looking at one attack in the safe room. I think. Clips needs to show its bills here. Ellis going upstairs to block that spawn. Smart idea there, getting out and the survivors have made it through the choke. BG has one last attack in the safe room and H2K is still sitting at 392 bonus. So that's, I mean, that's about that's average. Not too high, not too yeah. low. And here comes that attack. Hunter and Jockey coming in together. Hunter gets set up and killed. Jockey gets killed. Smoker lands on the coach for a little bit of damage in the back, but it's killed quickly. And the spitter spits in front of the door for a delay. Yeah, they, they focused Ellis with uh, Hunter and Jockey, which was a good move, but they just didn't manage to connect on it. And H2K pushes into the safe room, managing a health bonus of 372, increasing their final score for the campaign to 3147. Um... BG is going to need about 200 points more than what H2K's bonus was, as that's how much they were down, so they're looking at around 580-ish bonus they need. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, map completion would put them at 25, 65, so they need, like, another 600 points. I mean, that's definitely very possible. I, I mean, you see it yeah, all the no, time. So. I mean... Like I said, this is one. This is the most volatile map. I mean, we've just seen like an a, basically an average health bonus posted. I mean, we've seen thousand point bonuses here. That you know, basically, if the tank doesn't get one down, this is going to be yeah. really close. And I mean, the need... tank's the tank's going to want a full end cap and then a little more here to pretty much seal the deal. That's what he needs. Yep. I mean, basically, true did did what he needed to do there, getting his in cap. I mean, maybe... I mean, he got solid, you know, he got solid SI support too, so I think, you know, just this, the survivor skill basically got them through that without much more. And we're going live with the last half. BG needs 580 points or so of bonus this stage, so we'll see how this all unfolds right here, right now. I've seen some good attacks where basically the charger charges up at them, either hits or misses, and then the jockey kind of grabs one and pulls them down that back staircase in the safe room. Um, Looks like BG is going to be playing this very cautiously. They want to not take a lot of damage in the first attack. I think the first attack can kind of set the tone for the whole round, in my opinion. And here comes that attack. Charger goes in, leading with the charger. He misses. Smoker lands onto coach, but gets cleared. Actually, it doesn't get cleared. Jockey lands for a momentary two cap, and I think the charger got an additional punch onto Yeah, he Ellis. got two punches. So that's like 40 damage here. That's a lot of damage. They probably wanted to do less than that. So. Yep. Good attack. It's, it's about the same as uh, BG's first attack, though, so we're even footing at this point. Yeah, it was a very similar attack with that same Smoker and Jockey 2 cap out in the front. And here go the survivors pushing through that choke point to spawn the tank. 
it has spawned up. It's going into the hands of um, Bravo. And we're going to see an infected attack on the run back. Boomer lands onto one. Spitter going in to spit on the uh, boom person, but he gets out of it. Coach actually wanders into the sniper, picking up for a little bit of damage. And that smoker is just going to hold for the tank. Probably going to want to get a smoke down into the cars. Let's take this yeah. away to H2K's order. Misty charge. Just go right there. I got back spawns, I'll try. Yeah. I'll watch Jay, I'll watch Jay. I'll deal with that. Do the comment if you can. Car, 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 car. He's coming around, right there. He's gonna hit again. Car roll bomb. Car roll bomb. He's coming around. Front? He's coming in front. Get flushed towards the back. Fucking charge off. Why are you guys not fucking blocking me? I'm down! Hey, over here! What an amazing fucking try. Somebody wanna lend me a hand here? Reload is on my own. Oh, Come on over. Get your ass over here and help me. Hit. Hey, over here. Reloading. Oh my god, that one try cap. Size the game. And welcome back everyone, that was H2K's tank, and that's going to be the game. We do have a couple survivors up still, but as you can see, they obviously don't have enough health bonus to win. Um, oh, what a job Redden did with that tank. He aggressively just got up onto that rooftop, yeah. said, I'm going to own this area, you're not going to stay up here and just chip, me, chip away at me. And what excellent SIS support. They got, they got a triple cap, they, they charged off, they pounced, they, they did everything right. And I like, I was worried when he just kind of four went the car and just went straight to the roof, and I mean he got focused down a lot of health, but uh, he got yeah he was getting juke too. Funded. He was he was getting juked, and then his support came in and just did a massive, massive job helping him out and just getting the survivors off the roof and just down into trouble zone, down into Carville. So that's the end of the game with H2K scoring 31-47 to BG's 21-43. H2K wins by about a thousand points. Um, kind of something that I expected to, but I mean it was a really close game, really good, exciting game the whole way through. Um, yeah, I don't think the score really reflects what, you know how how close of a margin this really was. Um, and basically, you know the, how map four plays out. You know, you just. You vie for a small lead in the first couple maps, and then it all just, you have to clutch it out in, in the fourth map. And uh, uh, H2K did. So I'd like to thank everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you, One Eye, for joining me. Thanks, Rev, for casting this uh, with us. Uh, that's the last matchup we have for tonight, I believe, but there are going to be some more tomorrow. Tomorrow's round two, I believe, and it's um, who's left in? H2K is left in. Elusive is left in. There's a couple other teams left in. Um, but H2K will go forward from this game to play um, next round. I think that's tomorrow, and then Sunday is yep, the finals, I believe. Semifinals tomorrow. This is this tournament. I, I really like this format where te you know teams can just get in, they play for a weekend, they see if their chemistry works, and then you know make adjustments as needed and and whatnot. I mean, this is this is the type of tournament I like to see. We're gonna have a winner soon. You know, yeah, they're definitely. gonna crown a champion on, on Sunday. Sunday. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, one for joining me, and uh, peace out. See you guys next time.